So if you go to your VPC console, you can see that we have a my VPC demo that we had created previously, and this is the default VPC. So if you right click on the default VPC, you see a edit DHCP option set. So if you click on this one, you have a by default option set already selected. And there are two options here. You can have a no DHCP option set or you can have the default one that you have. And this actually gets associated to all the VPCs that are created after that as well. So for an example, let's suppose I go ahead and create a VPC here by clicking on create VPC and I'll name it my VPC-2 and I'll just give it a side block of 10.0.0.0 slash 24 and that's it. I'll just create the VPC. You will see that the DHCV option is already set to the default one. Okay, so now here we need to understand what is the difference between both the DHCP types or, or what is the difference between if we set the DHCP and if we don't have a DHCP set. So how we can check that? We have to create instances in both of them and we have to disable the DHCP set in one of the VPCs and we'll check what is the difference. So let's suppose I have this, this is the new one. And if I right click on this one and uh, edit the DHCP option set, I'll see that it is already default. By default, it has been attached. So if I right click on this and I just edit it, I have this default value for this as well. But what I will do is I will create a subnet in this VPC, the new one that I've created just now, and I'll disable the DHCP option set and I'll create an instance in both of them and we'll see what is the difference. So let's go to the subnet and let's click on create subnet. Okay, so I just created a subnet here. So in this VPC, we have this option set enabled, but I'll disable it for now. So no DCP option set and I'll save it. And on this one, we have the option set enabled. So let's go and create the instance here. Let's go to instances and I'll launch an instance. I am sure that everyone by now is quite familiar with creating the instances, but here I'll choose the my VPC2 and I'll choose the only subnet that I have. And let's suppose I enable this public IP, assign auto public IP. Okay, that's it. I don't need to do anything. Just click on add tags. So I'll give it a name and I'll assign the name as my VPC2-1. So I have to create a new one. Then yes, uh, this should be fine. And just click on review and launch and launch it. Yes, I have this launch instance. Go to the instance that we have. So if I select this instance, if you see, I have a private IP and I have the public IP address as well, but I don't have a private IP before DNS. Okay, so the mapping is not here for me because I have not selected any options. If you don't believe me, what I can go do is I can just create a new instance and I'll choose the my VPC demo. I'll choose a private subnet. I'll enable this as well. Click on next, add tags, add. Okay. And I'll just review and launch. Select an existing one. I have a lot of them, I guess. So. I can just choose this and review and launch and launch. Launch instance. Now let's see the instance. So this is the one that I had created for my VPC that I created recently, my VPC2. And this is the one that I created just now for the demo VPC. See, I have this DNS name. So the problem here is, or the default actually property that you have here is with Amazon EC2 instances that you launch into a non-default VPC are private by default. And they're not assigned a public IP4 address unless you specifically assign one during the launch. That is what we did by modifying the subnet that we have for the public IP4 address attribute. But by default, all instances in a non-default VPC receive an unresolvable host name that AWS assigns. So for example, if you have an IP address, you can assign a DNS name to that. And you can assign your own domain names to your instances if you create a special DHCP option. 
for your VPC. And that is why it is really important for us if we want to have our own domain names to our instances, then we have to create the DHCP options. And if we want to automatically assign them to our instances that we create for the VPC, we have to create a DHCP option set and assign the domain name that we want to provide. And then any instance that we create after that in that particular VPC, the domain name that we want will be attached to it. If you see this, these are the default DNS names that are attached by AWS. As I told you that all the regions apart from US East 1 will have compute.internal region.compute.internal so that is why if you go here you don't have anything if you go here you have it but now let's suppose let's change things so let's suppose i want to have this i can edit the option set and i can assign the default one to the vpc2 that i recently created okay and i'll save the changes so now this vpc that i had created recently also have a dhcp option set and the instance that i have right now will also get a private ip for dns now you might be thinking that i don't have this public ipv4 dns in both of them isn't it let's suppose i launch another instance and i'll tell you what is the difference so i'll go with the default vpc and and I'm not using the other VPCs that I created manually by myself. I'll be using the default one. I'll choose a subnet and I'll enable the public IPv4 address and I'll just add storage and I'll have a name, my default one and I'll name it. Select an existing one so I can choose this one yes i can choose this one and review and launch launch it and let's go to the instance and we'll see the difference click on this see i have a public ipv4 dns and i have a private ipv4 dns for my default vpc why this is happening for this but not for the other instances that i have so my demo vpc-1 only has the private ipv4 dns because i have a dhcp option set and here as well but why isn't happening for the public ipv4 dns for that we need to go back to the vpcs and i have to just right click on this one and edit dns host names and i have to see that by default for the vpcs that you create the dns host names will be disabled so this indicates whether instances with public IP addresses get corresponding public DNS host names or not. And this is the reason why this segment is really important for you to understand. And if you just click on enable and save changes and go back to the instances, this is the one that we had. If I just refresh on this one, you will see a public IP for DNS assigned to it. Sorry, this one. Yes. Not this one, I'm really sorry, for this one. Because this is the one that I changed here. This is the one that I changed here. So this one got its public IP for DNS. So this instance, my demo VPC-1 belongs to this VPC. So I can just right click on this one and I can click on edit DNS hostname and I can enable this and save the changes. And when I refresh this, my demo VPC-1 will have its own public IP for DNS. So what you need to remember is when you create a VPC, the DHCP option set will be by default set to the default one. If you right click on this one again, the edit DNS host name will be set to disabled. You have to check this enable to give your public IP for addresses or DNS name. And if you go back and if you right click on this one DNS resolution, it will always be enabled. So these are the ones that we have for the default DHCP option set. So if you have to create a DHCP option set, what you need to do is you need to go to the DHCP option set in the list of available menu that you have. And then just click on this one and you have the DHCP by default already set to this one. So if you can just right click on this and view details, the domain name that you see here, ap-south-1.compute.internal 
if you go to the instances every instance will have a domain name for the same that you have created but for the public one as you already know that you will have compute.amazonaws.com so don't worry about that so it will be region.compute.aws or amazonaws.com and here it will be region.compute.internal so whenever you know that you are hosting it in a particular region then you will understand that all the domain names that you have when it is set by the domain name server of amazon provided dns then it will be starting with the region.compute.internal and here we don't have any ntp servers enabled or netbios name servers enabled or netbios node type also if i want to create a new dhcp option set i can just click on create i can specify the name my dhcp and i can just give a domain name for that and i can just give the domain name servers and ntp server and all the details and i can provide the tag and i can create one and based on the domain name i set and the domain name server that i set the populated values or any instance will be resolved like this.